Hey guys. So, as you guys know, my birthday was on the 13th, and um, I decided to treat myself again. Um, and there was this online auction um, near me for a whole bunch of yarn. I found them on Facebook Marketplace. And I ended up spending $100, which means this is the second installment of the I spent $100. And this one would be on mystery online yarn shopping. So uh, I pulled up what I bid and so most of these bags were between five and $15. So here are all the auctions I bid on. Um, and I'm gonna go through the yarn. Some of it was really expensive. Some of it was nice yarn. Um, and the guy from the auction told me that they buy storage units. So my bet is this is an estate of some sort that didn't become insolvent. So they defaulted on their stuff after the you know primary owner passed away. That's my guess because some of this is old yarn. So I want to go through and see what everything is. So let's start with this bag here. And this is 106. Let's find lot 106. Okay, this does not say lot 106. Oh, there it is. So this is, here's what the, the lot was. So this was lot 106. It is four lambs wool tweed, DK weight, 100% wool. Two felted tweeds, 50% wool, 50% uh, percent alpaca, and one Yorkshire tweed, 100% pure new wool. This all came from England. Uh, and this was Rowan tweed, and this was $6. So this whole thing was $6. And let's see here. So this is the... DK Tweed 100% Wool 50 Gram Ball. This one's a little worse for wear, but that's the color. And there are four of those. And these look to be pretty old. Um, approximately 125 meters. Dry clean or hand wash carefully with soap flakes. So yeah, older yarn. Squeeze gently, do not leave wet, ease back into shape dry flat and this was in the shade heliotrope made in england by rowan yarns that is nice that's a really beautiful color this is the yorkshire tweed rowan 100 percent pure new wool it's this beautiful pink color with these little flecks in it this is also a 50 gram ball and it's looking like when they, the original owner bought this, it was $2.30. It's the second ball of that same shade. And then this is Rowan Felted Tweet, a felted effect yarn made with merino wool and alpaca. And this feels nice. Like this is, I've never used Rowan yarn, but I heard it's really good. Um, this is approximately 175 meters, made in Italy. Oh, this is nice here yeah, I wish I had more of this um, but that whole lot all for all seven balls of that was six dollars so I think that was a really great deal and the reason I got all this yarn is because I want to donate by the by the time Christmas rolls around I want to make at least 100 items for my local VA office the Veterans Affairs office I want to make blankets, lap blankets, hats, um, wheelchair covers, things like that. And I feel like these wool would be really nice for things like that. So this is 124. And this is Cascade Yarns Quattro Yarn. This is 100% Peruvian highland wool and this was let's see this one was six dollars for these four hanks um but these hanks these are beefy hanks here so this is cascade yarns quattro made in peru 100 percent peruvian highland wool it is 100 grams 220 yards it says it's for a size 7 or 8 needle, 
And this color is beautiful. Look at this. And this feels so soft. The terrible thing here is I'm going to fall in love with all this yarn. I can't buy some of this anymore. And also now I know what it's like to work with nicer wool. This is the same exact one, but in a slightly different color scheme. But those would go beautiful together. And when I tell you that this feels so good, I love this shade. Look at this shade. Look at all these colors. Beautiful. And this last one here, for sure. I'm going to make something with these three together. Maybe a cardigan, maybe a shawl, maybe a something. But I got those four hanks for $6. And these are really nice feeling. And again, that was Quattro yarn is what it was. Let's see, this one here. Does this have a number? This is 902. I don't know why I'm telling you the numbers. 902. This is Elizabeth. Oh no, Elsbeth Laveled Favorite Wool Yarn. So this is another wool yarn. This bag here was $7. And there is six, seven skeins in here. And this is El Elsbeth Laveled Wool. And this was originally $5.50 on sale for $1.99. And this is a designer's choice, 100% Peruvian wool, 100 meters in the color plum. Again, made in Peru. So I have one shade of purple. I have one shade of this beautiful teal color and then I have five of this navy color here and these are beautiful together that will make something really pretty and so again all together those were six dollars each six twelve twenty four forty eight this is 48, what's 48 plus 6? I don't know, like $55 worth of yarn retail that I got for $6. So that's pretty cool. Oh, excuse me, $7. It was $7, which I still think is a great deal. Then I got this one here. Let me see. 401. This is Brown Sheep Co. Hand Patents Original. This was my most expensive purchase. It was $12 for one, two, four, six, eight. Eight hanks of yarn. But I figured if this is the hand painted yarn, it'd be worth it. So let's take a look here. So this is the hanks. They look like this, sir. This is Hand Paint Originals from the Brown Sheep Company, colors inspired by earth, sea, and sky. This is a luxurious blend of mohair and wool. It's approximately 88 yards. Fiber content is 70% mohair, 30% wool. This will be something nice. And again, these don't have the original price on them. The color was called New England. So there's New England. And then there's this one, which is Sunbaked Earth. Sunbaked Earth. Those look beautiful together. We've got Tropical Water. Again, the same uh, mohair um, wool blend. 70% mohair, 30% wool, if I forgot to mention it. This color's pretty. There is this lilac color. Now, these are smaller skeins than what I was expecting. Um, but I'm not just, oh, this shade is beautiful. Look at this shade. Oh, I love this jade color. It's like a true teal jade with more green in it than teal, but it's definitely like not a true Kelly green. So all of these here, I don't know if you can see them all. That was all $12.00. And that one was a risky one because it was like more expensive, but I still think it was worth it. Um, even if they are smaller skeins, I really do like the texture. You can see this one here. 
This is 531. 531. This is universal yarn, 100% wool yarn. And this one was $6. Um, they all, every bag that they had listed was $5, and then you could bid $1 more each time. So, um, it was really affordable. So this is, again, Universal Yarn, 110 meters, 100% wool. They're just beautiful, like, coral color. A brown hank. Another brown hank another brown and a black look at all these again same thing all 100% wool um, and I decided this time to go with more muted colors if I could um, to try and get more muted colors because I like girly yarn I like obviously my hair like I like pinks but these are going most likely to a veterans office and uh a lot of these veterans are not wanting a pink lap blanket, so I wanted to make a point to try to get some more neutral tones and such. And um, I, w I don't want them to be dreary and boring. I just want it to be accessible. I want everyone to be able to take a blanket if they want one. So this is more colorful yarn. This was 117. Let's see, 117. Oh, sorry. There we go. This was Lighthouse Ocean Sunset Ombre Yarn. This was $6 for five balls. So not my best deal, but I just really like these colors here. So it is Ocean Sunset Ombre in the color Raspberry. It's a number five bulky 100% wool. I don't know why this time around I really wanted wool, but... So this is in the color Rose. This is the color raspberry and these are the colors oh where, where'd you go rose okay so rose and raspberry they're just different variations of the same one figured that would make a cute little chunky hat maybe a little cowl who knows this one, this one was, I knew it wasn't a good value. I just, I love to see it. I just wanted to look at it. So this is 608. So this is Burnett Sesame Germantown weight yarn, 100% virgin wool. The reason is I love Burnett yarn, but look at this. Look, do you see this packaging? So this is Sesame, Germantown Weight. Never heard of that reference. It's a pull pouch. And it even has instructions. So this is just like, looks like a standard acrylic, but it, but it's wool. It's 100% virgin wool, permanently moth-proof, washable colors, two ounces. But the thing is, I just love this. Look at this. It even has directions on how to use this new and improved pull pouch. So this is in the color rose. It's even got like a milk tag on it. Like, when have you seen Burnett yarn come with a milk tag? Like, look at look at this. It says Burnett. I'm gonna keep that. So what it says is, remove plastic tab closure. Pull out a few inches of yarn. Replace the pull tab. Continue to pull the yarn out. Oh, so what, what? this was the center pulls of before. So it says to pull out a little bit of yarn. Put the milk tab back on, and that would be your center pull from this bag. Oh, that is so cool. So this is in the color rose. And I have three of these. And then I have a hot pink and a orange. And this is in the color Spiced Peach. And the hot pink one is called Yusha. So that itself is going to be a cute little project. And again, that is not muted tones. It's just, I, I had to see what it is. Like, I've never had this old of yarn. And if I did not mention it, that one cost me... Uh, $7 for five skeins. 
this one here is 138 this is another one of the pricey ones so this was eleven dollars for let's see four eight nine ten eleven eleven balls of yarn so eleven dollars a dollar each this is crystal palace yarns kaya 100 percent wool yarn made in taiwan so let's see here, Kea Crystal Palace, 100% wool, 65 yards, in the color 109, look at these, this is just so pretty, I knew I wanted to make something out of this yard, look at this, and a dollar a ball, sure they're not the biggest balls, but it's still pretty. And let's see. Oh, actually, you guys remember this one that I showed you? There was two extra balls in that. They fell out of the pack. So it was actually a better value than I thought it was originally. All right, we cleared out one bag so far. I had this giant Oregon tote that I filled up with my order. Let's move on to the next bag. This one here. So this was an afterthought. I did not pre-purchase this, so basically when I went to pick up my stuff, I said, did you guys have anything that didn't sell? And he said, of course. And I said, if I were to buy these bags that didn't sell, how much would they be? And he said, base price is $5. So uh, whatever didn't sell, you can have for $5 if you take it today. No questions asked. So this was one of those bags. Oh no, this one was not. But this is... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Whoever had this before me, so the the place I bought this from told me that they did not rebag any of it, but this is how it came. So the person before me had a little notepad of what it was. So this is Wow Red, Red Mohair Angora, four skeins, 500 yards total of a red mohair. Um, this is... Nolby cotton multicolor. I don't know. It says 463 each. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Now I've never used such fine yarn, so I don't know how I will get along with this, but you cannot tell me that this is not worth five dollars. Look at these shades. I can't. I can't. Which is why I went against my no buy. I wasn't going to buy yarn, but I saw this online and I thought, what the hell? It's five dollars. If I win it, great. If not, oh well. So that one was five dollars, and that one actually I did buy ahead of time. I just forgot. So let's see. This is this is another one that's not old yarn. So this one is one seventeen. It's a big bag. So this is 10 of Patton Classic Wool Yarn. This one was a bit more expensive because there's a lot more yarn in here. This one was $15. Original was five, but it went up to 15 in the auction. And this is 100% pure new wool. And I have, let's see, so I have four of the variegated color and six of the purple shades. So I'll show you one of each. Okay, so this is the purple, and this is the variegated, and this is lovely wool. So this one, they're number four weights, 100% pure new wool, 223 yards each ball. So these are going to be beautiful, and like I said, this is $15 for 10 of them. So I think that was a great, great price. Look at these shades. And this is, you know, good, good yarn. Like, Patton is a good brand. So I definitely think that this was worth $15. Let's see here. This one I was really excited about. Let me see the number here. 210. I remember this one. 210. So this is Imperial Yarn, 100% wool yarn. Where did it go? Lot 210. This was six dollars. 
for four skeins. But I just could not get... Oh, that is wool. That is wool. Look at this. Look at this. It's from Oregon. This is a local yarn store. Imperial Yarn from Malpin, Oregon. I'm from Oregon, and I don't know where that is. So this is the name Native Twist. It is a soft spun single. Four ounces, 100% wool, approximately 150 yards. Imperial Yarn, Imperial Stock Ranch. So they grow the yarn themselves in Shanico, Oregon. Shanico, Oregon? That is beautiful. I want to try to make some socks. I can't knit, but I really want to try to make some nice wool socks with this because it'll be whatever I make with this. This is such high quality wool. Look at these. I really wanted to make something with these two. So I had two of this and one of the white. And I thought that would be something beautiful. And it doesn't smell musky. It doesn't smell like stored or anything. Like whoever had this had good taste and also had a well um, stash, like a well organized stash. Because nothing smells wool, like bad, nothing smells like it has moss, nothing has anything like that. So let's see this one. Alright, this one here, this one popped open. Let me stuff it back in there. So here's this one. This is lot 481. 481. This is a sorted yarn. This cost me $6 and there was... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight skeins in here. And in here it says, we got another little note from the owner. Poly Bay, a hundred, I don't know what this is. It looks like it was an order of some kind where she was doing math on the meterage, but I've got a Queensland collection, Kathmandu, luxurious merino silk and cashmere tweed. This is 208 yards, 85% wool, 10% silk, 5% cashmere. This is flax and wool yarn, spun yarn for knitters. Look at this skein. This is 20% flax, 80% five wool, a very soft spun yarn, handle with care, approximately 245 yards. That's beautiful. Got another one of that same one. This is Wooly Wonka Fibers, Fine Hand Dyed Fibers, Yarn Spindle and Fiber Tools. This is a bright worsted, 100% organic merino in the color Toast. And this, oh my god, I have never had like good merino wool. And this feels so soft. Oh my god, I'm just gonna... Just gonna, just gonna, oh, and I get two of those. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna make, but it's gonna be good. Oh, this feels exactly the same as this. I'm assuming it's the same brand. Oh, this is so soft. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna donate this. I don't think, I think I gotta keep this. Oh, mystery yarn, mystery yarn. And then there's this giant kank here. Of mystery yarn. It's beautiful, but. It smells like wool. That's all I can tell you about it. And that was all, let's see here. That was assorted yarn. That was $6 for this. Just one of these, I can guarantee you, is more than $6. So let me take a break here. All right, I'm back. I wasn't sure if my um, phone was gonna cut me off with a 25 minute mark, but we're down to the last bag. And uh, I took a break for our unofficial sponsor. Let's move on. This one was a big boy. This one here is one, excuse me, 983. Okay, so this was one of the ones that I told you that did not sell in the auction. And I just bought, so I got all of this yarn. Feels about two and a half pounds for uh, $5. I'll pull out a couple of them. So this is a standard 
looks like an acrylic it might have some wool in it it's not the softest and this is a roving style can you see that variation roving style in a beautiful colorway and i have multiples of this beautiful roving so this might even be hand spun i mean look look at that i'll have to watch some tutorials on how to work with it because i'm scared i'm gonna scared i'm gonna snap this yarn but look at that let's let's test it out oh no that's that's pretty strong so this is five dollars because it didn't sell at auction and this definitely is more than two pounds of yarn let's see this one here this is lot 361 oh, this is another one of the five dollar lots that nobody wanted okay do you see all this this is a good say four pounds of yarn of various shades and I cannot tell you what any of it is because all of this has been rewound into different balls there's more of this of the same but in a different shade of that roving style yarn and even this that's like chilling in storage does not smell bad but I figured a few gentlemen would like this okay and then this was the last of the five dollar bags this last bag was all the afterthought stuff so this here giant bag see this says it is salem sea rust 11 pounds no one pound of acrylic bounds two wool strands uh 12 dollars a skein is what the note says i don't I don't know. Never used anything that looks like this. That is it. And I got a whole bunch of that. So I don't know how to work with that. I'm gonna have to do some research on that as well. I guess I shouldn't have taken a break because this didn't take much longer. So going through my auction stuff, I have my invoices right here. Let's take a look. So all in all, everything I bought was a, for a max bid of 112 so I was willing to pay $112 for all this yarn. I ended up paying $93, but I ended up buying those three bags last minute for $15 altogether when I got there. So it would have been... Oh gosh, I'm terrible at math. 93 plus 15. Uh... A hundred and hundred and twelve? Hey Siri. What's ninety-three plus fifteen? Ninety-three plus fifteen is one hundred eight. A hundred and eight dollars for all of this yarn. I will do a math, a little little pop up here of how much yarn, how many skeins, and an approximation of the of the mileage, mileage yardage. Uh, to see wh how much I earned because I definitely think I got my money's worth because some of this yarn I was looking it up online like was clearly very expensive some of this like hand spun stuff hand dyed I could not whew. so now for reals I should not be buying yarn anytime soon but uh don't we always say that here's the aftermath I don't know if you can see that there's all this yarn All right, well, uh, I'll see you guys um, in my next video. Hopefully it won't be a haul.